Hey guys, it's Simi and welcome back to my channel. When it comes to my weekly reset, I like to do quite a few things. I almost always do this between Saturday and Sunday because this is like my break in the week. If you guys just watch my Ultimate Life Reset series then you have noticed that I like to focus on like my mental well-being, my physical well-being, my... what else did I also goal setting and my environment mostly usually on this day of the week i would have already planned um most of my next week out nothing really is set in stone but i like having a general idea of when i want to post things that i have so today is sunday and it is mainly my cleaning day i almost always wash my sheets so those are in the washing machine i sorted my laundry and did that is like i'm gonna do that as well today i'm gonna hit legs today in the gym i'm filming a couple of videos today i'm posting a video today and I need to do some homework and schedule content for my club that I'm in and I need to do some admin work like send out emails check my emails respond to emails type of thing usually I'm up and at them a little bit earlier but we digress I'm gonna flip through my bullet journal but here's a little clip of me this is basically what my bullet journal is gonna look like for this next month I like to set up my bullet journal mostly ahead of time because again i like to add in my bullet journal when i'm gonna post which videos or when i'm gonna film each video things like that i like putting it all down in my bullet journal making it very clear what i want to do that is my plan i'm really 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 excited to just kind of like start anew like i don't know what happened to me but throughout january my motivation like dipped for like a solid week i'm super like motivated like i want to do everything right now i just want to get my life together in the best way possible live laugh love <laughs> and grind because i'm just in the mood to do so already my day is looking pretty fat so whatever else i need to get done i need to make sure i'm getting the things done on my list first I'm back from the gym and I had a package in my mailbox so I'm going to open it. It's my SD card reader so that I can transfer footage now to my laptop but that way I can start experimenting with editing onto my laptop. Let's go. Also I feel really skinny. This person at the gym, I really hope they're not watching this. But they asked me for my number today and they were cute so no but i'm single so it doesn't matter <laughs> which i think oh my gosh i might be able to fix my playstation with this oh my god if i can start streaming by next weekend i will be so happy oh my god i literally love this shirt so much by the way let's go put a load in and take a shower So I chose my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these arm warmers from Amazon. This belt is from Target. These pants are thrifted and this is thrifted. It's now two o'clock. I spent literally two hours, not two hours, one hour doing my hair and choosing my outfit. So I'm hungry, gotta go eat something. It's already two o'clock, but that's fine. We persevere because even when the sun goes down, I can still do things. Keep going with my day. Uh, like I was just trying out a bunch of outfits that I didn't like, so gotta go eat. <laughs> I just realized I have fans and haters. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm currently, I don't know, I think I'm gonna be having a small little panic attack. I've been feeling it coming on for about an hour now, um, leading up to my mm, assignment that I was supposed to complete. I didn't complete it. 
I'm so mad at myself for not completing it actually because I had so much time. Like I'm usually the kind of person that's like, okay, well the time passed, like how, what can I do to make it better, you know? Like I can still do it, like there's, there's consequences, but like I can still do it, you know? I don't want to do any of this stuff. I don't want to be gone. The one person I want to call, I can't call. And my wig is still on. <laughs> I'm kind of tight and my bangs look stupid. And I watched an, another season of New Girl and I had McDonald's today instead of cooking. And I always like to, you know, show you guys like, okay, even though you couldn't do everything, you know, that's okay. But sometimes it doesn't feel okay. And I don't want to just keep coming on here, smiling up in your face, acting like shit is sweet when it's not. I generally don't want to do this. <laughs> Like the only thing that I actually want to do, I can't spend my time towards that because I can't live like that. At least not right now, you know. Everybody else just kind of thinks that I'm okay with it. Like they're like, oh, why do you not care that you're not going to class? I do care, I just can't. I don't want to do it. I am not living laughing or loving right now. Like eating a horrible food makes you feel like shit. I took off my makeup. It'll be like weekly reset routine gone wrong. <laughs> a couple of days go by, I guess, and I'm just like, I have some of these quick little moments, but I kind of just ignore it and continue editing my video. I've been editing this video for like a week and it's taking so long and I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna get it up if it literally takes everything out of me, like, because I can do it and I know I can do it and I have trash all over my room cups and plates and and dehydrated even though my water's been sitting right next to me all day you know what i'm saying like it's it's not easy just get it done like you're not even like you're not even in a hard major like just you only have two in-person classes and you can go to them on zoom just go just go just do this just do that that's effort like that is physical effort that i have to muster up inside of me enough care towards that thing in order to do it and sit still for an hour knowing that i'm learning something that has nothing to do with me knowing that i'm sitting there wasting my time doing something that does not benefit me that when i know what i want to be doing <laughs> it's just not this i feel like every youtuber has that period of their life where they're kind of in between doing things like I'm pretty sure my life is Ava went to college, Riss Remy Ashton went to college, and then there are some YouTubers who had the privilege of not having to go to college at all. But there are people who have to still work nine to five jobs, do school, and you know, try to keep up with a YouTube channel, and most of them it doesn't work out because of their mental health. They say a prison of glass windows is the same as a prison um with metal bars but that's just not the truth like you have a fancier cage like just admit it like the point of the matter is is that i'm still trapped and i feel so dumb for coming on here and filming and stuff but i really just don't want to like i literally said i was never gonna go on youtube and cry like this don't post things like this for a reason i don't want to perpetuate these ideals i don't want to get pity from anybody but I also know I need to let it out and process my emotions and then and say okay it doesn't matter what time it is if this is a brand new morning right just right now right here right now what can I do differently I told myself I wouldn't go on TikTok or Instagram until I completed a homework assignment never did that I just sat in bed and and instead I watched YouTube and Netflix all day the most I did was get ready and sometimes 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 that's all you do and it's not okay and people need to stop saying that it's okay because it doesn't feel okay i know a lot of people are gonna judge me for what for you know filming this right now i don't care <laughs> leave a hate comment <laughs> and i'm so anxious pick up the trash i don't think the trash i get my clothes out of the dryer it's just my side pillowcase it's dirty I have to start making some real changes and I need to start with one thing at a time. I may not know what I'm doing. I may be having a quarter life crisis, but I genuinely didn't think that I'd live this far. And this always hits me 
every new year that I make it. And this sounds so dumb. <laughs> it's not dumb actually, it's kind of scary. I've never been good at playing video games. <laughs> I always die. I'm always like, fuck it, we ball. You know how like when you're playing video games for a long time and you get really tired of it and like your eyes kind of start hurting and like your butt hurts from sitting in the same spot until you stop playing, you stop trying again because you're done, you're tired of dying. Speaking of the fact that my camera just cut me off just then, <laughs> I'm gonna say that that was probably for the best and I'm gonna take that as a sign. I'm gonna start actually living so i guess we're moving up as my light flashes red and tells me i need to switch my battery i guess you guys will see what i have the energy for thanks for listening Okay, yesterday was Monday and I completed a homework assignment and I was really proud of myself. Um, I'm up early. I have decided that on days where I have class in the afternoon and on weekends, I will try and work out in the morning. And then on days where I have class in the mornings, I will work out in the afternoons. I think the biggest part of why I got a little overwhelmed the decision fatigue very easily. I'm eating my breakfast. This is the Nutriment Protein Shake. Sponsor me. <laughs> Love this. I've actually been drinking it since I was like a kid. And I'm having strawberries with it. But my room was clean, basically. All I had to do was make my bed. I knew what I was gonna have for breakfast. And I'm awake, you know? Not to mention, I set like 600 alarms. <laughs> I edited and um, uploaded a video yesterday at a decent time. I posted on Instagram. I could have done more for my extracurriculars, but I'm starting to understand what I can handle and what I can't handle. And the week has already started, but I thought I would just come here and end off my weekly reset video. I'm doing a little bit better now and not to worry about me. Some days are just harder than others. But even though it's Tuesday, I'm not going to let that stop me from completing my weekly reset. I'm not going to let that stop me from continuing my week with my best foot forward, if that makes any sense. I don't have to conform to your capitalistic standards. I'm still waking up, which is why I'm like more mellow, I guess you could say. <sighs> IQ. Yeah, that yawn was paid for. <laughs> Thank you for watching this weekly reset. It was a little unorthodox and I hope I can scrounge it together if you like me and you want to see more of me then go ahead and click that subscribe button down below I promise I'm a lot more upbeat in most of my other videos <laughs> I make lifestyle content and I just try to share my reality with you follow me on all of my social medias at simicreen underscore fashion inspiration motivation daily motivation things like that if you guys try this comment down below okay I will talk to y'all later Pesos. Bye. That's a fundamentally Taoistic attitude, which is that the whole process of nature is an integrated process of immense complexity. And it is really impossible to tell whether anything that happens in it is good or bad, because you never know what will be the consequences of a misfortune. Or you never know what will be the consequence.